Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created a soft, expressive background and lost and found edges on this polar bear using watercolor. With the bear sketched on, I use masking fluid to protect the edge of the bear that's in the light. This will give me greater freedom to go over the background with large brush strokes and lots of wet paint without worrying about losing that hard edge. Next, I spray the background with clean water and brush the water evenly all over the surface of the paper until it's glossy and damp, but with no puddles. Using a 3 quarter inch flat brush, I paint in some ultramarine blue and some darker patches of indigo where the ice is dark in the reference photo. I allow some of that blue paint to overlap a little into the shadow side of the polar bear and into the shadow side of the leg. These are edges that I want to lose. While the background blues are still damp, I add blooms by touching the wet tip of my brush to the surface of the paper. This is just to add a little bit of the frosted effect to the ice. I start to paint the shadow side of the bear using light washes of ultramarine blue and adding in some turquoise blue in areas that look a little cooler in color temperature. I remove the masking fluid and switch to a smaller brush to begin painting the details of the polar bear. Because the bear is not true white, he's more of an off-white color, I use a watery mixture of yellow ochre to do a flat wash all over the bear, just avoiding some of the highlights along the edge and the cool blue top of the head. I use burnt umber to begin painting the darker shadows between the four legs, then paint a more blue mixture alongside of that shadow, allowing those warm and cool shadow tones to charge into each other. I use the same technique, just in a lighter value, on the right leg, starting with a watered down burnt umber and then switching to ultramarine as I see those color temperature shifts in my reference photo. I add fur texture to the leg that's in the light using short, quick brush strokes. By the way, if you want to know more about how I paint fur and watercolor, check out this video. I add details like toes and the dark nose using my indigo and then do a quick wash of ultramarine on the shadow side of the head. Working quickly, I switch to my cooler turquoise blue and paint this alongside of the ultramarine, creating an interesting color temperature shift within the shadows. I add in some burnt umber on the neck, still working wet and wet so that the colors will blend smoothly. Be careful to control how much water is on your brush. You can do this by dabbing it on a towel or paper towel. When you use the wet and wet technique, you might sometimes end up with blooms or backwash if you have too much water in your brush. I add fur texture to the back and soften the edge of the belly so it disappears along the background. This is a lost edge, as the values are the same, and having lost edges can help draw our viewer's eyes to the focal point, which in this case is the bear's head. I finish up the details like the eyes and ears, and then do a little bit of dry brushing along the surface of the ice just to add a little more texture. And there is the finished painting. You can access the fully narrated real-time version of this tutorial along with all of my other full-length tutorials, when you become a Fearless Artist member. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out all of my available courses. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here, and check out these other videos on painting realistic animals with watercolor. Thanks for watching.